Hello everybody, my name is Hocus Pocus and welcome to my first ever video on my YouTube channel. So right now you're about to watch episode 1 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Hopefully we can make this a long running series and aside from Minecraft I will hopefully be uploading a few other Let's Plays of various games but mainly this channel will focus around my Minecraft Let's Play. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Obviously we're going to be playing single player. Let's create a world and name it Hocus Focus plays Minecraft. Hit enter and let's see what the game will generate us. So as I said, I'm hoping to make this quite a long running series. Obviously this is the very first episode so if you like what you see maybe subscribe and follow the channel to see what comes of this survival let's play. So you've probably all played Minecraft before, you know the very first thing you need to do is gather some wood so let's go ahead with that. I also see some sheep in the distance which is nice so this tree looks like it will do. And once once I've, once I've chopped this tree down and got a few materials together I'm gonna look to get a base up and running. For now I'll probably dig into the side of a mountain, maybe find a cave, something like that. It's generally what I like to do on Minecraft is to build underground because then you don't run the risk of creating ugly structures. Right, so now that I have six wood, it's probably about time that I built an axe. So let's get a crafting bench, some sticks, put the bench down. Let's just create a wooden axe for now, just to aid ourselves with the wood collection process. I'm also gonna need to use these planks to hop up there and get the remaining logs as they're too high for me right now. So let's do that. And cut these last few logs down. Right, there we go. Let's get rid of this wooden base that I built. Okay, so now that I have my wood, I'm probably going to quickly create a sword and run over there and kill those sheep because having a bed on the first night is quite important, I think, because you don't really want to be A, waiting out the night, or B, being attacked by monsters during the night, as right now I'm going to be pretty weak without any armor or any weapons. So here, let's take these sheep out and grab their wool. That's one wool, two wool, and then three is all we need for a bed. We're also able to grab ourselves some mutton, so that's nice. Okay, so I'm looking at this area here. It looks quite, quite nice. So maybe this is where we'll build our very first base. We're on the edge of a plains biome here. So not too bad at all. All right, let's, run, let's head back here, see if we can grab a sapling maybe. So that I can replant these trees. Alright, it doesn't look like there are any around here. No. Okay, forget the sapling. Let's move on. Alright, so as I said, I quite like the look of this mountainous area here. So, we'll head in this direction. You can also see there is some sort of cave formation right here. So that's, that's nice and interesting. Alright, let's quickly head to the top. See if there's some sort of flat area that we can maybe think about building a base on so I'll just head up here okay so I actually quite like the look of this area there's a single tree here which I will take down in a second hopefully get some saplings in return there's a few chicken chickens that we could uh, possibly capture and breed in the future yeah I think this is quite a nice area actually so what I'll do is like I said I will tear this tree down hopefully get some saplings from it okay there we go so I will just see if I can get a sapling or two here just to replant because you know wood is a very valuable resource in this game early on so if I can get a few trees planted right now should set me up for a good future Right, there is the second. Let's quickly jump in and grab that. Okay, so if I plant this about four spaces apart, so it's one, two, three, four, let's give it a four gap. Should be able to grow like that nice and easily. Okay, and the remaining leaves are now gone. Right, so let's begin thinking about where I might want to place my base. Okay, so I've got this water here. I'll probably eventually cover this up. This water also I will eventually cover up. 
See, it's quite nice and flat, and you have the rock face ahead of us, so I think I should probably dig into this rock face here. Right, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, let me just quickly place the crafting bench down, craft a few more sticks, and I'm actually going to turn the... I'm not sure what they call this menu, but I guess it's just a crafting aid. Makes things a little bit easier sometimes, but let's get ourselves a pickaxe, a wooden pickaxe. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place some wood down in the water because I feel like if I get to the back of this pool of water, I could actually build a quite a nice base as there is already a small outlet built into the into the cliff face. So if I just dig out a few more blocks here, make it a three by three for now. So that's the first three. Let's just quickly dig out the second three behind it to make it a three by three cube. And while I'm at it, I will actually create myself a stone pickaxe because wooden pickaxes are a waste of time. So I'll just throw that over there. And one, I'd probably create another one as well because they're not very durable. So there we go, there's two stone pickaxes, but immediately you notice that the speed increase is quite dramatic, although stone is still slow. Right, so there we go. There's our 3x3 three three dugout. I think I'm going to eat this apple as my hunger is going down. You can see as well a tree has already grown, so another thing I'm going to do now is throw the stone, sorry, the uh, wooden axe. Create myself a stone axe. And I will chop this tree down for a little bit more wood. And hopefully I can get another sapling to plant before night comes. So there's 10 more wood. Let's just craft some more planks, create a door. And now that we have a door, I can head over to our 3x3, place the door. And for now, I'll just use wood. I mean, I'm going to make this look a lot better in the future. But, you know, first night, you really just need to find yourself some cover so that you're not stranded in the dark. And I will also cut down the second tree. I'm surprised at how quickly they grew actually. Sometimes they can take a while, but these trees grew pretty quickly. So if I just empty out my toolbar, then I can replant the sapling. So I'll place one there and hopefully I can get a second and we can put down another tree. All right, there we go. There's our second. So let's do a four gap again. Three, four, right there. Oh, we actually have a third sapling right here. So if we go one, two, three, four in this direction, then we have three trees. Right, so now that we have our base, I'll pick our crafting bench up, get it inside of our base. So for now, I will just stick it in the floor here. That seems to work for me. Let's actually go back one more, just so that we do have a three by three space inside of the base. There we go, one, two, three, one, two, three. Nice, so what we'll do now is create ourselves a furnace so that we can cook that food right there. We'll get one, two, three, four pieces of wood. Um, we'll stick the furnace in the wall just to save a bit of space here because it's not very big. So there we go, our food is cooking. And now I need to look for some coal, maybe. Okay, I see coal there. I see coal up there also. I think I'm going to head up here. This should be easier to collect. So let's make our way up this small hill. Right, there's actually two veins of coal, one right here and one here. I think I'm going to go for this one for now. Just get a couple pieces, or three maybe. Three will be fine for now. We don't have a lot to light up. Just inside of the base and maybe a few torches outside of it just to ward off spawns. Okay, so there's another sapling, another apple. That's nice. I might actually go ahead and plant this sapling also. So let's go one, two, three, four, right there. And again, our hunger is depleting slightly, so we'll just take the apple. Okay, so now that we have our coal, obviously we're going to throw some torches together, nice and easy. We'll put one inside of here, that should light that up, and then we'll head outside and we'll actually place a few around the outside. As I say, if I can negate spawns for now, that would be nice. I don't want to wake up to a creeper outside of my house or anything like that, especially when I don't have any armor, because, you know, that probably will result in death. That's something else I should probably mention. If you just take a look, I am actually playing on normal. I won't be increasing or decreasing the difficulty at any time, unless it gets too easy for us. 
so maybe in the future we could increase our difficulty to hard, but for now I will remain on normal. Right, so now that we have our torches places, placed, our saplings placed, we can probably think about building our bed. So let's use our three wool and three of our wood to get a bed. And we can, hmm, so I could put it here or I could go a couple, a couple, I'll go a couple more spaces back, just open up our base a little bit because we will eventually dig out more space. This is supposed to be just the first night, you know, get a small base together, get out of the dark, make sure you're safe, all that sort of stuff. So if I just dig this out slightly further and place the bed here, maybe that will allow us to have a little more space to move, maneuver around inside. So We've cooked our mutton, so that's nice. We got a bit of food. I'm actually going to keep this in my offhand for now. It's just a bit easier to eat that way. And let's head outside and just see where the sun is in the sky right now so that we can determine whether or not day is almost over. Okay, so you can see the orange the orange haze in the sky. That indicates that nighttime is on its way. So where is the sun right now? Oh, I see it's setting behind the cliff there. Right. In that case, we'll head inside because we will be able to sleep pretty shortly. And I'll just grab these saplings before we do that. Right, so let's get inside of the house. Close the door. And any minute now we should... Okay, we can sleep already. So there we go. That's our very first day in our Minecraft Let's Play over and done with. We didn't take any damage. We didn't meet any mobs. So it's been nice and peaceful so far. Um... Okay, so I have three more saplings. I should probably get those planted just so that we can have a small, a small, it's a small starter tree farm. I'm not going to keep it here, but for now it works. So let's place that one there. One, two, three, four, this one there. And we have one final sapling, which we will place one, two, three, four, right here. Okay, so here's our small starter tree farm. Nothing special, as you know, I'm not going to keep it, but it will allow us to generate wood and keep wood as a renewable resource right outside of our base which is nice because we will need a lot of wood as i say starting up so from here on i would suggest that the next steps that we take is to dig a mine so what i'll do is i'll take a look here a sec so we have one two three if one two let's dig another one out that makes our base six six long six blocks long and we'll just quickly get rid of this gravel. So let's let that fall down and get rid of that. And I do like to fill in the holes just to keep the room looking uniform. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go another three. Eight, nine, seven, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this gravel is quite frustrating. Let's try and get rid of that as we go. Okay, there's a little bit more coal here as well, which is nice. We could use that to light up our base a little bit more. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the dig now. We'll just remove this gravel as it falls. Place a torch here and get rid of that gravel. Okay, let's just let this gravel fall, then we'll deal with it. Okay. torches back to my hot bar so that I can get rid of this gravel there we go okay so I'll fill in this part of the roof later but for now we'll just stick a few torches down in here light it up a little bit let's actually use this this coal to create some more torches clean up our inventory a little bit okay so I think maybe the best idea here would be to start our mine in this 3x3 area so usually what I'll do is I will um, pick two blocks so this one this one for example and just dig straight down to around level 11 level 10 and that is where I will begin my digging as that is where diamonds spawn so it is the most efficient area in the game to dig but I won't bore you with that footage it's going to take quite a while I need to craft some some ladders and torches so I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back to you when it's complete Okay, welcome back. So I've just finished digging out the mine, which I'll show you in a second. 
But before I do that, I just want to quickly update you on a few things that have happened. So whilst I was down digging the mine, I found around 10 iron. I've decided to convert three of that into a pickaxe. And as you can see, I've stocked up on stone pickaxes also. That's because once I've shown it to you, I'm going to do a time-lapse mining session just for the first episode. And then I think we'll bring the episode to a close after I finish that. So without further ado, let's head down there and see what it looks like. So as I, as I mentioned, I've dug down to level 10. And if you want to ever work out where you've dug to for yourself, just press F3 on your keyboard and look to the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see X, Y, and Z. So the first number, negative 113, is X coordinate. The second number, 10, is the Y coordinate. And the third number, 1.219, is the Z coordinate. So that's an easy way to work out the level you're on if you want to build your own strip mine like this. Okay, so, so far, all I've done is dig out a small 3x3 three three tunnel. I usually dig one strip and then leave two spaces, do another strip, leave two spaces, and so on, so forth. I would do that until the mine gets too big, basically, and then we can move on somewhere else, maybe. So, as I said, I'm gonna about I'm gonna do a quick mining time lapse just to see if we can get ourselves some nice materials together in the first episode. And once I've done that, I'll come back to you guys and close off the episode. So I'll catch you in a second. so that's the mining time lapse over let's just quickly take a look at my inventory after returning so as you can see I've got 53 iron one stack and 25 coal one two three four four stacks of redstone and 59 12 diamonds which is great for our first mining session I must say 15 gold ore a single emerald and 42 lapis lazuli so that's all the um, stuff that's worth mentioning obviously we have a lot of useful building resources as well mixed in there but nothing too special Okay, so I think that's where I'm going to wrap the very first episode of my Minecraft Let's Play up. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'm sorry if there were points in the video where it sounded like I didn't know what to say, or I was mumbling a bit, or talking too much about what was happening on the screen. I am new to this. As you know, this is the very first episode, and my very first video. So if you can just excuse it for a few episodes, hopefully I'll get better and more natural. But until then, enjoy what you're seeing. If you did please subscribe, hit that bell notification button to be notified of my next video, and I look forward to playing with you guys again in the next episode. Catch you later.